Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can layer up video and cut out text to get this amazing effect. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start with a blank presentation. So we'll go File, New, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout, Blank. Now let's add the text. And for this, I'm going to be using Fig Tree Black at 140 points. I'll just type in my text. Select the font, which I'm going to choose Fig Tree Black at 140 point. Resize it so it will all fit. Just going to change down the line spacing. For this big text, I like to use a multiple of about 0.7. Then center it and center a line. Just going to drag this down a little bit. So it's about in the middle. Looking good. So now we want to allow the video to actually come through the text. And in PowerPoint, there's no option directly. If you select the text and go to Format Shape, you can't choose to fill this in with video, but we can cut it out from a shape, which will give the same effect. So to do this, we'll click on Rectangle, add it anywhere, drag it up to the top left and resize it down to the bottom right. So I've basically just made a rectangle that fills the whole page. I'm going to make sure this has no outline, then right click and center back. And the rectangle is already selected. It's important for this step that we make sure the rectangle is selected first and then hold down shift and click the text. So it's selected second. Then we go to shape format, merge shapes and choose subtract. And what that's done is it's actually removed the text from the shape. So it's a cutout. So anything that's underneath will come through. In this case, it will be the multi-layered video that we're going to add now. So now we'll go to insert, we'll go to video and choose stock video. I'm going to type abstract. And in my example, the first clip I chose was this. Click insert. We'll drag this to the top left and resize it down to the bottom right then right click and choose send to back. Now, when we play the presentation, the video will play back through the text. But I want to add a second layer of video just to make it more interesting and add more variation. So we'll go to insert video, stock videos again. And I selected this clip, but try any combination of clips you want and see what effect you get and which one you like. We'll insert that. Again, I'll move this to the top left and resize it down so it takes up the whole screen. Now we want to make sure that it's in the right order. There are a couple of ways of doing this, but first let's add the effect that allows it to actually layer up on top of the other video. And in PowerPoint, this is technically called an animation. So we'll go to animations, add animation. We want to choose this one here, transparency. When we click on the animation pane, you can see that the transparency option is there. And by default, it sets it to 50% transparent. But if you ever want to change this, you can double click on it and choose the amount that you want in there. But the only thing I'm going to change for now on this is to make sure that it starts with previous. So everything happens at the same time. Then we can adjust the order. So we'll click on this, right click, go to send to back. But in this case, we're going to choose send backward. And this will just send it backward one so it will be under the cutout. Now when we play back, both videos will be played on top of each other and layered, which gives a really cool effect. And we can click on this top cutout to change it to whatever color we want. For example, if I wanted to make it black, or a dark purple from this video. This gives a really cool effect and we can combine any videos we want to get this. And once you have your cutout text, you can easily duplicate this slide, change any of the video to any effect you want, and away you go. If you'd like to download any of the source files from my recent tutorials, you can access them from the Patreon link in the description below. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.